what is going on divers welcome back for another video today i'm going to share with you my best trading strategy that work for me every single day and it worked for me weekly by weekly so if you're really interested to trade volatility 75 index make sure to stick around with me up to the end so that it will help you to understand a step-by-step -step process so as well uh, the strategy is going to go like this my first number one what i do when i come on on mt5 what i have to do i just first find the h4 my h4 time frame h4 time frame what trend direction trendy direction so after looking at the trend direction what the next step to go to m to go to m15 stroke m5 so that i can look what i can look the entry so this h4 time frame this h4 time frame is my high time frame for looking the trend direction the trend direction it can be moving upward is making the high highs and high lows or it can be making the lower lows and lower highs so this is going to be our what our h4 trend or h1 trend direction so if i get this in h4 there will be enough for me to know that when the market is going down i have to look for selling opportunities for selling opportunities only and when the market is moving upward so what i have to do to look for the buys only i have to look for the buys only so after doing all of that the next step to go in the low time frame in m5 and then i stack what and i take i take my entry I take my entry in M15 or M5. That is what I do. So let's say that the H4 is the let's say that the H4 is making the lower low. Here we have a lower high, we have a lower low, we have a lower high, we have a lower low, we have a lower high. Now the trend direction is bearish bearish this is our trend direction in h4 are you getting the point so when the h4 is making the lower low and the lower highs lower low and the lower highs so we have to look for the sell opportunities i go to minute 15 and in minute 15 what i want to do that this is the our previous lower low this is our previous low high so i wait the market it makes the recent the recent lower low this is our recent lower low in h4 so i will just diving in to m15 so here we want m15 m15 to be making the high 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 low making the high 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 low high 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 low high 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 low so if the m15 is making this the high highs and high lows now this is our m15 this which is making this the uptrend are you getting the point h4 is going to be going down the overall direction and what we need is the m15 to be making what an uptrend so if i get this in minute 15 is making the high high and high what and high lows these are our high highs in m15 remember so what i do i will just get my trend line and i connect this first point where the trend started and the second point and i draw my trend line connecting this point so i will keep monitoring i keep monitoring the price until when the market comes 
and it breaks this trend line. The price comes and breaks trend line. And when the price finishes to break my counter trend line in M15 O minute 5, I, this means that this H4 here, it have, when minute 15 breaks here and the close below of our trend line, it shows us that now the H4, it have created a new high low. This is going to be a new high low here at this point in H4. So we have to take a trade here and then we take the market down to break this, the, pre, the recent lower low to form a new a lower high, a lower low. So that is what I do. I wait here, the M15 close below. M15 must close below of this trend line which we have which I have drawn here. When it closed below here, exactly, I take my entry. M15 after closing is going to be my entry point. And then the stop loss above of this high, which is here, because the market can form, or above this structure here, because it can make a double bottom, or it can form a head and shoulder here, any kind of pattern which can be here, or any structure which will be here. My stop loss is going to be above the structure of M15, which formed here before the break of what of this trend line and the break of the structure are you getting the point so after that i will take then my tip is they're going to be aligned with these high lows in m15 every high low in m15 is going to be my take profit every high low in minute 15 is going to be my take profit i get the point so this will be my TP1, TP2, TP3 until the market reaches to overall target. So that is what I do. And if I want to get more risk to reward ratio, I use the overall trend of what? Of H4. When I use H4, I take my entry in minute 15. When I use H1, when I use H1 as my overall trend, I take my entry on, on M5, entry on minute 5. It's been my entry. Also, I use the same process, find the overall direction, and then I go directly toward to M5, and then I take my entry. So this was what a selling, a selling uh, structure. So if we can look, the buy structure also is going to be the same. That the H4 is going to be making the low here. This is our low. Makes a high, makes a low, makes a high, makes a low, makes a high. We make a low here, we make a high. This is our overall what trend on H4, which means we are looking for the buy opportunities. So if we are looking for the buy opportunities, so we have to wait the H4 start here. Yeah? This is after this get broken, we know we are coming to make a law. We wait the H4 comes back here. If it comes back here, we go before it comes back here. What we have to do to diving in uh, when the H4 is going to be forming this, we have to go to M15. If this, if this it is H1, if this is H1 trend line, uh, sorry, trend direction, by which means I have to go to M5 by looking this. So M5 is supposed to be making the lower low, lower highs, lower low. Lower highs, lower low, lower highs, lower low, lower highs, lower low, lower highs. So my M minute 15 here, I will just connect this previous lower high and this lower high. I bring down my overall trend like this. Just one trend line. I use only one trend line. I bring it down like this. This is going to be my M5 or minute 15. So I wait the market to come and break immediately when it breaks my trend line and then the candle closes 
above this trend line that is will be my entry and then the stop loss below where to take the tp every this every lower high is my what is my take profit so that is all what i have for you today make sure to hit that subscribe button click the notification bell to be notified at any time when we upload a new content like this see you to the next video peace